Hey now, do you ever get a little voice in your head or is it just me? Do you get a little voice that says you're not good enough or things could go wrong or what if this happens or is it just me? My name is James Dan from Inner Anthem. This is another episode of Inner Anthem Insights and today it is all about that little voice, that inner critic, that ego part of our mind. You see, I don't think I'm the only one who has that little voice because we all have those little voices. Right now, if you're watching this and you're kind of thinking, what little voice? Oh, I've got a little voice. That's your little voice. It's that little voice that's always going on in your mind, but often it's critical because what the little voice wants to do is keep you small, keep you really small. It wants to protect you somehow. So... We've, I've just been doing uh, my personal development club and we've been talking there about this concept of little voice and everyone has been identifying the little voice and identify it when it's going off, when it's telling us that we can't do something, we're not good enough and this is too hard and this bad may think this thing might might happen, you know, this bad thing might happen or whatever it is. We need to first of all become aware of it, identify it, then we can stop it, then we can challenge it, then we can do something about it. And what you might find is when we have this this little voice, okay, this little voice here, which is kind of coming out or not, we actually might find that that little voice is often not even our little voice. Yes, it's in our minds, but it's only part of us. So here I have my son's Peppa Pig, but you know, it might be that it's someone else's voice. Maybe a uh, maybe your mum's, maybe your dad's, maybe you know a, a guardian parent, guardian teacher, something like that. And we have another voice, and we find out that that's not my voice either. That's not your voice. It's somebody else's voice. See, we pick things up from our ch uh, early childhood. We pick up certain phrases, certain statements. If someone's told us that we're not good at something, we, over time, we'll accept that, we'll believe it. And then we have that little voice coming up telling us that we're not good at it. But is it right? Not necessarily. Is that little voice truthful? Not necessarily. Often not at all. But we believe it. So sometimes what we can do is we can identify what that little voice is, what it's saying to us and, and who it comes from, okay, and, and what it's trying to protect us from. The more we do that, then the more we can overcome it and we can literally rewire our brain. So my challenge to you today is to identify your little voice. What is it saying? When is it coming up? And then you can do something about it. So if you're watching this on uh, Facebook uh, live, then uh, please, or, or in the replay, please do comment. I'd love to hear what your little voice is. What is it actually saying? Have a little think about that. Have you got a little voice that often chirps up? Put that in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. Again, write down what your little voice says. If you can come up with an exact statement, that's powerful because then when you're uh, when you notice yourself saying it, it's like a little trigger. Ah, there's my little voice again. And then you can decide to uh, disagree with that and uh, think a, a more empowering, positive thought. So my name is James Stan from Inner Anthem. If you have any questions, please do let me know. If you want to tag someone in, if you want to share this again, please do so, so that other people can identify their little voice, so that we can defeat these little voices between us and live a, a happier, uh, you know, more loving based life rather than that fearful based one. So uh, I hope you have a great day. My name is James Dan from Inner Anthem and we'll catch up again soon. Bye for now.